السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. اوكي okay. انجيجمنت. So first of all, I'd like to clarify the difference between Islamic engagements and non-Islamic engagements. Normally, when people think of engagements, they think that basically after the engagement takes place, a guy and girl can hang out with each other in the way that they couldn't do so before the engagement. They can go places together, they can do things together. Uh, Islamic engagements, on the other hand, mean that a guy and girl have simply agreed to marry one another, and that's it. Nothing else changes in their relationship. Just as before the relationship, they wouldn't hang out together alone. Likewise, after the relationship, after the engagement, they won't hang out with each other alone either. There's a lot of dangers when it comes to non-Islamic engagements. Um, for example, people start spending time with one another and it's normal for them to develop feelings for one another and they may start doing things that are not halal for them because let's face it, it's an engagement, they're not married. What happens in some of these engagements is that engagement don't always end up in marriage because not all engagements work out. So a lot of the problems that come from dating come up in this case too. So just like if you were dating someone and you broke up with them and the problems that would come from that creep into this type of non-Islamic engagement as well. And I'll just give you one example of that. In a non-Islamic type of engagement, people after they're engaged, they start talking and they start getting used to one another and then they begin to see each other's weaknesses because let's face it, We all have weaknesses. And when this person begins to see the other person's weaknesses, they may begin to doubt whether this person is right for them or not. And the engagement breaks off and the wedding breaks off. And this person has put themselves in a situation where they went from being all comfy with this person to, you know what? We're not engaged anymore and we're not getting married anymore. And so subhanAllah, basically, um, you're in a position where you were emotionally invested and you were physically invested in this person And now, what a waste. And that, subhanAllah, is just one example of the problems that come from non-Islamic types of engagement. And this is one of the reasons why engagement is considered, or that type of engagement is considered non-Islamic. Lastly, I'll say this. If you're engaged to someone, you need to be careful of your interaction with that person. Keep it Islamic, keep it halal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.